news tonight. Cross River State's government takes step to ensure compliance with monthly environmental sanitation exercise in rural areas. Cross River State's House of Assembly calls on relevant authorities to intervene on issues of land encroachments. Also, Creation associates six synergy with NTA to give Agbokum Falls Marathon adequate publicity. Details and more shortly. Good evening and welcome to the news. I am Justina Etam. In a concerted effort to ensure that the residents live in a healthy environment, the Governor Basio II led administration is prioritizing environmental health with a view to reduce the risk of chronic diseases and other health hazards that can adversely affect life expectancy. Commissioner for Environment Moses Osogi disclosed this during a statewide environmental sanitation exercise in Ugep, Yako local government area of the state. Oba Hysens reports. As part of his effort to sustain a clean environment as a critical component of public health, the Commissioner for Environment Moses Osogi was in Abi and Yako local government areas to enforce compliance with the monthly environment and sanitation exercise. He however expressed disappointment at the low level of compliance in these local government areas while suing for increased awareness and engagement from residents to foster a culture of environmental responsibility. I was thinking what we've been preaching to the executive uh, secretaries of all the urbans. They have replicated what we're doing in Calabar in their zone, but I'm surprised what I saw today. The compliance level is too low. So I am, I'm going to hold a meeting, an emergency meeting with them by next week in Calabar and to a kind of uh, give them tutorials on a pr proper way of doing this exercise in their various zones. Being aware that today's environmental sanitation is by the side and doing the exercise, cleaning your environment, not loitering around, is another aspect which they have not observed. Some residents speak on the importance of the exercise. Around visiting the gatekeepers and doing a kind of advocacy visits and meetings with gatekeepers. Although the advocacy visit is still on and the business is still on, by the time we are through with our advocacy visits and meetings, I've been meeting the influencers and the gatekeepers of the different of the different organizations, groups, age groups, and other unions. It's very serious. They have seen, especially the action of taking the mobile court here in action. They have seen that yes, all the advocacy uh, issues we have been discussing about compliance. I think by the next outing now. There will be a lot of um, improvement. I like a lot of um, dirtiness. In fact, everywhere will be clean because it's been long. And this time, this uh, yes, the man is acting, and we are happy. But as sickness will stop, a lot of things will stop. All this dirty, dirty, they cause sickness. People they die, but now it's like people they sick again. The government effort that ensures that all nooks and crannies be kept clean is a call to safeguarding a healthier, cleaner cross river state for all. In Calabar, Oba Hyacinth, NTA News. Following a petition received by individuals, community and organization on land encroachments, the Cross River State House of Assembly is calling on the Commissioner for Lands and Surveyor General of the State to work together to establish a land encroachment resolution committee, thereby ensuring fairness, transparency and justice in addressing land issues. This was part of the resolution reached as the motion was brought before the House by the member representing Calabar municipality, Stanley Nsemmo. Udwak Etem reports. Land encroachment is a recurring problem in Cross River State. 
causing disputes and conflicts to landowners and residents. The Cross River State House of Assembly, based on the petition received on the encroachment issue by some organizations on land belonging to some communities, called on relevant agencies responsible for land records and boundaries to take urgent steps to address the issue. The motion was raised by member representing Calabar Municipality Stanley Semmo, as other lawmakers also supported the motion. The House also resolved that the Commissioner for Lands ensures that all land allocations and transactions are done in accordance with the law, with proper documentation and verification. In this administration, we will stop at nothing for ensuring that we cover such excesses, regardless of who is involved. This state called Cross River is our state, and if we don't intend to give our land to any sort of military forces, we will not. And federal government cannot coerce the state to relinquish land that is meant for cross river state citizens to any sort of um, military operation. In Calabar, Uduak Etam, NTN News. Let's take a quick break here. We'll be back shortly. Please stay with us. Are you looking for a secured environment with good parking space? and a natural ambience, then look no further. NTA Calabar Entertainment Ground has got you covered for marriages, parties, and all kinds of events. Have an event at NTA Calabar Entertainment Ground? You stand a chance to get a discounted rate for your event coverage. For bookings, please call Jane 0806-353-3069. Celebrate your events at NTA Calabar Entertainment Ground. NTA Calabar, the station for the people. This is Two Smile Hotel and Suite, giving you the best of hospitality. Under a well secured environment with reliable power supply. Come, savor the aura of royal treatment. Let's pamper you for a while with exotic drinks from our exquisite bar, continental and African dishes in our homely restaurant. Classy and spacious rooms ensuing lasting comfort. We've got the luxury hosting you and your guest in Queensley Conferencing. Truly an indelible impression. To Smile, exclusive access to unique experience. NTA Calabar presents Obi Utube in collaboration with Apalak. Obi Utube showing on NTA Calabar every Thursday at 7.30 p.m.
Mouam Yedou. Ami a gazi l'ouvre. Gap. For sponsorship, please call. Serial. 0813. 676-7207 or Jen 0806-353-3069 Welcome back. The implementation of Administration of Criminal Justice Acts after the exit of donor agencies formed integral part of discourse during the conclusion of a two-day workshop for key players held in Calabar. Paul Ebel reports that the move is to gain public trust and justice delivery for egalitarian society. With key players from government, the Ministry of Justice, security agencies, the NBA and the media sharing knowledge gained from the workshop, there was still time to take a look at the role of technology in promoting transparency as well as assessing justice using the HROMIS platform. Uh, it's not only gender-based violence this platform deals with all forms of human rights violations. There are a lot of cases you can report uh, you know, on the HROMIS platform as well. So the anticipated outcome for building and developing the HROMIS platform in the first place, one, is to uh, you, you know, see increased information uh, information shared by the citizens to the justice reform agencies and their oversight agencies. Uh, and also, of course, an anticipated outcome is reduce uh, prevalence of human rights violation and abuse. Uh, increase public confidence uh, in the activities of the security agencies. In a syndicate session, participants were divided into three groups to work on impact of transparency on public trust and justice delivery developing transparency roadmaps on gender accountability and transparency as well as drafting the policy recommendations for discussions what then are the gains moving forward for the media and few of us even if you're in the media you're in the security ministry we are all eventually social workers we need to see how we can also, by implementation, be on the streets ourselves. We hope that taking away from this program will be able to make impact from the knowledge. We'll be able to contribute to improving the various sectors where we find ourselves. In, like the program, you realize that we have we civil defense, we had police, we had immigration, we had customs, we had media persons and all of that. The idea is each of these subgroups will be able to make impact in our different little ways. I was thinking that, as I know, other my colleagues know, but listening to yesterday's uh, discussion, and I know that there's really a big gap. And as I'm living here, going back to my station, I will actually pass out this um, knowledge I've gained today. As CSOs, I think um, after this event, we need to do more of advocacy. We need to do more of um, engagement, engaging with, with stakeholders, partnering with relevant authorities to see that um, all these things are put in place. Stakeholders here are to replicate the gain from the workshop and sustain the impact and implementation on the policy document for the general good of the society. In Calabar, Paul Abel, NTA News. A group known as Creation Associates, led by its team leader, former Commissioner for Tourism and Culture, Eric Anderson, has promised to collaborate with NTA Calabar to give the forthcoming Agbokum Falls Green Marathon 2024, holding on Saturday, 23rd November 2024, at a Tung local government area of Cross River State, the needed national and international outlook and awareness. This was disclosed during a courtesy visit by the team to the management of NTA Calabar. Miracle Edo reports. During the visit, the team lead presented the vision and goals of the Agbokim Falls Green Marathon, emphasizing that the aim of the event is to promote environmental awareness and enhance the cultural and tourism potentials of the state. We are proposing um, a marathon there in the month of November. So it's going to be tagged at Bokim Falls Green Marathon. Beyond the state um, TV, we know the reach, we know the spread you know, NTA has. It's a national event. I mean, 
we've been long in the in the in the system to know where to knock knock at you know at every point in time. So you know, uh, so we thought we'd to come here and put this on the table and see how we can have you as our media partner. Because the general manager NTA Calibur Adekunle Ajibola which rate commitment of the media support in the upcoming events. As the media, we have a responsibility. Our responsibility is to, to, to inform the general public and to also educate them. You have a very good initiative. You have um, a very good event. We want to partner you and we will definitely partner you, Thank you. by the grace of God. The Abokim Falls Green Marathon is a sports tourism development initiative by Creation Associates to boost tourism. In Calabar, Miracle Edo, NTA News. Cross River State's stakeholders are lauding the victory of the All Progressives Congress in the last governorship election in Edo State, acknowledging the contributions of Governor Basio II to ensuring that Edo State becomes the second APC-governed state in the South-South. Aretendem tells us more. Stakeholders who describe Governor II as a blessing to many commend him for extending his hands of blessings to Edo State and his commitment to supporting free, fair, Transparent and credible elections in Edo State. He did it in the Imo State, so Edo State is not a surprise to us. A man who chooses to do the right, a man who chooses to do what is just, fair and equity will always win all the time. And the grace of God on him for doing the right will always make him shine. And that is what I have to say. So it's a winner and a winner. Leadership is not what you, you inherit, it's what is in it. Most people are born with it. And I think our governor is born with leadership prowess. He has exhibited it in the first election, he has done it in the second election. In fact, he should be the political consultant in Nigeria right about now. He has a strategy to win any election, no matter how complex it is. I'm not surprised because um, he has always been winning in all his endeavors. So for me, this victory is not unconnected to the personality, to the identity, to the leadership, charisma of our governor. And um, it calls for celebration, it calls for, uh, for promotion, it calls for more opportunities to come APCs where as a party. Uh, because um, in the coming days, having delivered a do, it's expected that most states will be delivered for APC. As Senator Monday Okwe Hoplo declared the winner of 2024 Edo State Governorship election, APC stakeholders in Cross River states calls for peace and calmness among aggrieved party members for reconciliation to move the party and the state forward. In Calabar, Arut Ndem, NTA News. The Cross River State Governor, Basio II, has extended his heartfelt sympathy to his Akwaibom State counterpart, Governor Umoino, on the passing of his wife. A statement released by his Chief Press Secretary, Nsa Gil, says the government and citizens of Cross River State stand in solidarity with the Governor of Akwaibom State in mourning the loss of his wife, According to the statement, Cross River State, as a sister state, is saddened by this sad news, but with humility, they accept the decree of her creator and draw solace from the timeless wisdom found in the scriptures, particularly in Ecclesiastes, which reminds Christians that there is a season for everything, a time to be born and a time to die, and that Governor Eno should understand the divine plan of God. On behalf of his wife, Reverend Eyong Wan Otu, Governor Otu prayed that God should comfort and strengthen the family of Governor Moeno and the entire people of Akwaibom State. And that's it on the news. Thank you so much for watching.